About 20,000 community nurses are set to get a pay rise to bring them into line with those who work in hospitals. But nurses in GP clinics who have been striking for a similar deal have missed out yet again. Demelza Leslie reports. Celebrating with coffee and cupcakes, the Aged Care Association overjoyed their nurses are finally getting a massive pay rise. It's really significant for, for aged care, which has often been uh, you know, a poor cousin to the, to the public health system. The government will spend $200 million a year to bring the pay of those working in aged care facilities, hospices, home care support and Māori and Pacific healthcare organisations in line with hospital nurses, closing a pay gap of tens of thousands of dollars. We've been losing nurses to public hospitals uh, because of that pay difference, you know, between ten and $15,000 difference. Um, so what the announcement today will do, it will help retention, it will help recruitment. But the windfall doesn't extend to nurses working in general practices. They've been striking for pay parity this year. Insulted and incredibly disappointed and sad. They've given years to the, to the, to the pandemic. The Health Minister says more hard evidence needs to be provided. One of the GP groups, I asked them for information, they provided information. It didn't show there was that much of a gap, and even when I went back to them and said, look, this is what I'm seeing, is there any other information you've got? I personally don't understand it. Um, we are talking about a relatively small sum of money. It's estimated it would cost another $12 million a year to give GP nurses a rise in line with their hospital counterparts. In a lot of cases, the GPs have made up those wages for their nurses just to keep them there. And the worry is now it will lead to more industrial action and put further pressure on a system that's already struggling to fill nursing positions. Well, kia ora, Demelza. So are GP nurses ever going to get pay parity? Mike, it is quite confusing. The Health Minister told me today that from the 1st of July next year, when general practices renew their funding, there are actually provisions to give GP nurses a pay rise. But this is only if GPs can prove that their income is not enough to maintain their wages. Now, that could be quite hard because at the moment they top up nurses' wages using funds from other parts of their businesses. Now, they do this to stop them leaving, but proving it is another thing. So really, they could be in the same position next year. Demelza, Namahi.